Hi there, I'm Ben, and thanks a lot for joining me for this tutorial, a tutorial for the beautiful song called Windmills of Your Mind. It's a song sang by uh, Noel Harrison first, but written by a Frenchman called Michel Legrand. Well, the melody, anyway, was written by a Frenchman, and actually the melody is very French. It's a fantastic song to have a look at because it's not that technical uh, for the right hand, the strumming and so on, is very simple. The left hand, however, is playing plenty of chords, however they're all easy. So a lot of those chords are probably new for you, but actually they're all really doable. But it's just that the chords move around so much in tiny little details. Now before we get started, I've really got to thank the people who are making this exist, and that's the patrons of the Patreon project, and you can check it out in the link in the description also, where you can get then the whole song sheet for this lesson. And actually this song was suggested by patron, patron Avril. So thanks a lot to you and um, everybody else. You can all thank Avril for Avril for, for choosing this song to have a tutorial for you and Duke. So let's get started. And this is the intro. Now, it may look all a bit strange, but here is a very important detail that we're going to use throughout all the song, and that's how I'm writing the chords. The intro sounds like this. It's a EM with an added fourth, I just write EM4, and it's open four, little finger on the five, and then index on the two. So four, five, two. And by that I mean open uh, G string, fourth fret on the C string, etc. right? F open four, five, two. And that's important because we're gonna actually write all of the chords like this. There's no diagrams for them. I did this because it would just have been too much drawing. There's too many chords. So the intro. You see how this EM4 lingers a bit. It's unsettled. E minor then, open, four, O, two. Now you might be used to playing it open, four, three, two. And that's also fine. I just thought I'd do it like this for this one to give it an extra mysterious ring, so that way we don't have two G's, we have two E's. It's a detail. Play it the way you want. Anyway, round, and we start singing on this note here, the fourth fret of the C string, where we have the E minor. Round, and then we go down, like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a A minor six, wheel two O two O. And then we sing low again, never ending or beginning. And on the G of beginning, we've got a 4 4 2 0, oh, which is a B with a suspended fourth, B7, B4 7. On an ever 4 3 2 0, oh, spinning reel, EM2, that's 0 oh, 4 2 2. Like a, and on snowball, back to a normal E minor, snowball down a, and mountain gets the E7, mountain or a carnival bird. Everything open, loon, like a carousel that's turning, D9, running rings around the moon, so D9 is 2, 2, open 3, running rings around the, and G major 7 is open 2, 2, 2. So if you have difficulty finding the notes, actually they're written in the document that you can download with this lesson, for example, on top of the, I can write them down here, but on top of the, like a carousel that's turning, running rings around the moon, the, it's indicated the like is on a D. So second fret of the C string. Like a, like a carousel that's turning, running rings around the moon. And then open string. Like, like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face. Back to an EM6, which is 2020. And the world is like an, and on Apple we have a B47. Apple. Whirling B7 silently in 0101 space. And this is a B diminished, and it helps have this unsettled false conclusion to the sentence. It's not the end. It's not whirling silently in space. It's whirling silently in space. Like the circles that B47 again that you find in the windmills of your mind. Or like a tunnel that you follow to a tunnel of its own. And then the second verse comes along. Let's uh, just do the first verse again so that it flows, right? It's a restless song. It never ceases to ponder and wonder. So we can play it that way by just <laughs> not interrupting it. Uh, the first verse doesn't have a particular strumming pattern and the strumming only comes in 
um, for the second verse, which we'll have a look at just after this. That's the intro, right? You remember? Okay. Round like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning on a never spinning reel, like a snowball down a mountain or a carnival balloon, like a carousel that's turning, running rings around the moon, like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face, and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space, like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. And on mind, here comes the strumming pattern, which we're going to play. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, which is a fairly it's a very common strumming pattern, it's not a difficult one. And that's for one chord, but when you get uh, two chords that share four beats, meaning there's two beats per chord, then you just do down, down, up per chord. Um, it'll, it'll make sense when we start singing. Like a tunnel, like a tunnel that... So we start singing on the second fret of the um, A string. Like a tunnel that you follow to a tunnel of its own down a hollow to a cavern where the sun has never shone Like a door that keeps revolving in a half-forgotten dream Or the ripples of a pebble someone tosses in a stream Like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face And the world is like an apple whirling silently in space Like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind Keys that jingle in your pocket and in the third verse, the chords uh, do change quite a bit in the middle. So let's have a look at those together. And we won't do the strumming for now. We'll just do the um, just simple chords. Start singing on the second fret of the A string. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Keys that jingle in your pocket. Words that jangle in your head. And here an AM7, not an AM6, which opens up the sound very much, relaxes it a bit. And here the voice goes upwards. And it will continue to go up because we're really building tension at this point in the melody. Why did summer go so quickly? Was it something that you said? And here, G. Lovers walk along the shore and leave their footprints in the sand. G again is the sound of distant drumming. And here we sing on a C sharp, which is the fourth fret of the A string on drumming and we move to F sharp 7 from the F sharp 4 7. Just the fingers of your hand, pictures hanging in a hallway, and the fragment of a song, half remembered names and faces. And here we have a D four seven, 7 which is 2 2 3 3, which will move then to the D7, right? So it's a it's, it's called a retard in the language of the composer of this song, which means that uh, something's coming a bit late. That note, which is the F-sharp, is making itself desired in a way, or everybody's waiting for it. Anyway, uh, I've remembered names and faces, but to whom do they belong? And then we sing when you knew, we sing that on a C. When you knew that it was an over C major 7. Over, you were AM7, suddenly AM6, aware. That the autumn leaves were B47 turning to the B7 color of her E minor. And then we have verse number four, the conclusion, which is much shorter. It's all chords we've had a look at before. Like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel within a wheel, never ending or beginning on an ever spinning reel. And the BBM, BDB, BBM, the BDBIM, the 0101 is already here. As the images unwind, like the circles that you find, B7 in the windmills of your mind, and EM on mind at the end. And you can have a bit of the chord from the intro, the EM4, to conclude, to tie the knot nicely. Right? The circle is circled. La boucle boucle, right? We've done it. We've, we're back to... We've done it, basically. And good job if you've done it. Also, make sure, and that's the challenge in this tutorial, that you take the time to analyze um, the numbers for the chords and sort of try to place your fingers in the way that's most comfortable for you. And once you've played them enough, they'll sort of follow underneath your fingers and then you can focus on having a nice emotional melody. The funny thing is it, it's a melody written by a Frenchman. It's almost a French melody, just 
it's French music, so there's something about it that uh, kind of, in my very biased opinion, I sort of think it sounds better if it's sung in a French way, which is why I would actually recommend maybe you sing something in the in the in the in the way of um, uh, of this. I, I'll just show you. This is the beginning, huh? uh, because the melody is a melody written for a language that does not have natural accent, natural accents in the in the in the melody of the voice. English has accents in it, but the French no. I, I show you. I sing a verse uh, number two for you. Like a tano that you follow to a tano of its own, tano hollow to a cavern where the sun has never shone. Like a door that keeps revolving to an half-forgotten dream on the ripples of a pebble, someone tosses in a stream. Like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face, and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space. Like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Is the jungle in your pocket or the jungle in your head? Why did summer come so quickly? Was it something that I said? Lovers walk along the shore and leave their footprints in the sand. Is the sound of distant drumming just the tapping? of your fingers, of your hand, pictures hanging around the hallway and a fragment of a song. And that's just a suggestion, uh, but the main thing uh, to remember is first how thankful I am that you watched, how thankful I am also to the people that make this tutorial is possible, and also how much you then must take your time to make sure you've got those chords nicely under the fingers. And there's a lot of them, uh, but as I said, none of them are really difficult except Right, except probably the F sharp four seven to F sharp seven. So if you can do that, four four two four, and then three four two four, then technically you are way gifted enough to play the whole song with ease with a bit of practice. So thanks again to special you. Only a few hundred people will ever see this video, and you're one of them. So thank you and congratulations, because wow chords. See you soon for more. Bye bye.